Twilight Spirits is a Chinese instanced action MMORPG of the same genre as Vindictus, Continent of the Ninth, Dragon Nest, Critica Online, and Hero Wars. The game has no IP block and can be downloaded from Steam, however is only available currently in Chinese. So this is Twilight Spirits, a game that recently came to Steam. It's all in Chinese, however they do plan to release an English version of the game eventually. To actually get this game to work, however, you need to go into Control Panel, click Date, Time, and Number 4. Let's go to Administrative, Change System Locale, and make sure it's on Chinese Simplified China, otherwise the game will not work. But let's just jump in and make a class. We've got a woman with a pretty cool sword, a guy with some kind of samurai sword, a katana by the looks of it, a woman with two smaller daggers, looks like a rogue to me, almost like a brawler, and now we've got a robot character out of nowhere with two guns. Doesn't really fit the theme of the other characters whatsoever, but it wouldn't be an Eastern game without a lolly character. I'm guessing she's some kind of uh, mage. I think I want to play this woman purely for our weapons. So we've got some kind of cutscene right off the bat. It doesn't look as though the game's going to give me any options when it comes to character customization. So I guess it's one of those games in which you play a set character. Feel free to translate this for yourself with Google Translate if you're watching this on YouTube. Move with WASD, pretty obvious. You can double jump in this game. Game. Quite a common thing in most Eastern MMOs nowadays. Okay, based on the mini-map, it looks like the world is split off into stages. Very similar to Critica Online, another Eastern game that we tried recently. Combat animations... Very, very quick. Action targeting, obviously. Feels like there's a little bit of delay between my animations hitting the characters and them actually dying. So that would suggest that the servers are located in China. Okay, so we got our one and two abilities. This game so far controls exactly the same as Critica Online. Exactly the same so far, but bloody hell, there's some cool animations. I can use my right click to dodge, but the animations for it seem really clunky and not too responsive. Not really too sure whose bright idea it was to release a game in which the servers are located in China on uh, Western Steam, but there you go. Sometimes logic isn't something that developers tend to possess. Visually, the game's not really blowing me away or anything. It looks all right, I suppose. Definitely getting Revelation Online vibes from the graphics and art style, which isn't a surprise, as this game is made by the same people who made Revelation Online at NetEast. There's a dragon randomly flying by. No one seems to be too bothered. Okay, dude. Yeah, just, just jump from the floor to the dragon's back. Nice physics. All right, this bloke's injured. Everyone looks the same, obviously. Got to copy and paste those characters. As you can see, Eastern developers do put a lot of time, effort, care, love and attention into their MMORPGs. Pioneers of innovation. This seems to be the final part of the stage, and this guy's clearly a boss. I'm uh, eye-framing for his abilities by the looks of it. So by spamming the number one key, it seems to do a very long combo in which she spins on her head. That's pretty cool, I have to admit. Not what I'd hoped for. I was really hoping for a Black Desert or Vindictus style of action combat, but instead it seems like a worse version of Critica Online. As with all of these stage-based MMOs, you get a little ranking, a triple S rank. Not sure how I managed to do that, considering how fucking bad the ping was. Press the Z key, it says. Right, so the Z key seems to auto-path me to the quest. Not sure why it needs an auto-pathing system, especially when it's an instanced world, very small and there's quite an obvious map to follow. So quite predictably, there's a big giant blue portal at the exit to the town, as with all of these instant sold games. You've got two options at the top, I guess one means PvE and the other means PvP quite an obvious one. Whenever there's two swords crossing each other, it means PvP in every MMO. Don't need to understand the language for that. I've only got one stage available to me. I'm going to click this and then I'm going to click this. Is that the right one? And that starts the next level. Quite a nice looking environment this one. I like the uh, skybox and the moon. Quite peaceful. I don't know why there's this white little loading screen. This few second break. Every time you go to the next stage, there's no need. You can see the monsters from the next stage. I don't know why they decided to do that. What is this monster and why is it pissed off? 
more importantly, how the fuck is it alive? I feel like if you want to play this game seriously and you don't live in China, you're probably going to have to get yourself a ping booster. Now we've got some blue upgrades. We got S rank again. So does equipping new gear change how your character looks? Changing weapons does. Changing trousers doesn't. Okay, so it's exactly the same as Critica Online where the only visual difference you'll see in your character is through the weapons. We're going to press the Z key again because I'm too lazy to walk from this guy to this guy myself. Now the game's throwing us a bone and giving us another level, but this one requires you to be level 6 to level 10. Another four stage mission by the looks of it. Let's test out our new ability. That is bloody powerful spin to win as much as this game is pretty bad i have to admit some of the abilities such as this one are pretty fucking cool i wonder how long it took the devs to design the environment for this level less than a day i'm betting what does q do q okay Okay, that was cool. I don't know what the fuck I just did, but we did we're doing combos We're smashing buttons and we're doing combos It may look like I'm an amazing player at this game, but trust me I am just pressing everything I possibly can. I can see why this guy's pissed off. Look at him He's not gonna get any tinder swipes anytime soon, is he? I mean, the monsters are retarded. They're gonna attack areas in which you're nowhere near. Right, the game seems to want me to repeat the same mission again, as it's got a big yellow circle around the repeat button. I'm not sure what character this is, but she seems to have bought what is clearly a cash shop outfit, a blow-up dolphin as a weapon. My immersion. You can't even walk over here to have a look at that view in the distance, can you? Invisible barrier. Right, I can explore the beach. The game's certainly feeling generous today. Can we actually go in the water? This, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a very polished and immersive MMORPG. Twilight Spirits certainly setting the standard for 2017 when it comes to Eastern MMOs. Look at that. We're fully submerged. My character doesn't give a fuck. She's not drowning. What if I wanted to roleplay as someone going for a swim? Can't do that. Not at all. We're going to try and do a jump here on this log. Wow, we actually did it. I kind of expected to fall through the log, I'm not going to lie. The environment doesn't look too bad at times, I suppose, but it doesn't look great, does it? Can I actually go onto the boat? I bet I can't. I bet there's an invisible barrier. Of course there is. How dare you want to go on a boat? I feel like this is a game they just rushed together in about four weeks as a quick cash grab. Zero effort whatsoever. Let's try out a different character. This one's kind of boring. So let's try out the futuristic robot guy that totally doesn't fit the theme of this game, shall we? So, okay. That didn't seem to hit them for some reason. Let's try this one. We've got a machine gun. It locks us into an animation and it feels fairly horrible. We can teleport around. Well, this is probably the worst class in the game. I really don't like this one. This guy's about as much fun as engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat with an ostrich. It doesn't feel impactful. It doesn't feel like my bloody attacks are hitting. This just locks you into an animation and feels absolute garbage. I think this is actually the worst MMORPG I've played this year. It's complete fucking horseballs. Number two ability is a dodge. I'm a little pixie lolly with wings. Of course I am. This character seems way more overpowered than the other ones. Just her base damage kills things way quicker than any of the other characters in this game. Right, let's test out the ninja. His left click abilities seem quite cool. Okay, his number one ability is pretty badass as well. As with his number two, and he's got a dash as his right click. Probably my favorite character so far. Right, this character seems to be some kind of spell blade. My number one ability shoots orbs and stuff. I dash and turn into lightning with my right click, although the animation for that seems absolutely shit. Instead of wasting their time making complete fucking garbage like this, why not simply try and make a good game and earn money from people that love the game because it's fucking good 
and don't just want to throw money at a costume, you fucking idiots. So I just handed in a quest and it sent me to the cash shop. Of course it has. Fucking shameless. So I seem to need to escort the guy, but I've basically started at the opposite end from a stage in which I've already completed. So they couldn't be bothered to design a new level. They thought, we're just going to copy and paste the same level, but have you start at one end rather than the other. That's how we can save a lot of time and resources. Just complete copy and paste of the same character and we're supposed to care about their story. Well, this time there's no loading screens. I can walk from one end of this zone to the other with no loading screens. Why can't you do that with the normal missions game? I'm, I'm absolutely fucking bewildered. There's a bloke with a pickaxe randomly in this area. Nobody knows how we got there. The monsters are just staring at him, not really doing much. I suppose I need to kill the monsters for him. Right now what? Okay. Okay. Is, is that it? That's the end of the mission. Oh my god. That was so fucking bad. Look at this poor bastard. He's actually spent money on this game. It might have been his first ever MMO, and now he thinks this is what all MMOs are like. I think we're already at the point now where I don't really want to play this game much longer. I've got a good feel for the game, and I've formed an opinion on it. So, as always with my first impressions videos, we're now going to talk about the pros and the cons. So yeah, I think it's kind of obvious from both the pros and cons section and the entire video that this game was complete and utter garbage. I don't really know what was going through the heads of the developers that made this game, to be honest. It's worse than Vindictus, it's worse than Dragon Nest, um, C9, Critica Online, any instanced MMORPG you've ever played is better than this one. I can confidently say this is the worst MMORPG I've played in 2017, and hopefully this video will save you the time of downloading it yourself but that's it for this video guys sorry it was a negative one i haven't really trashed an mmo for quite some time but i think this one deserves it as always let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below and follow me over on twitch tv for live streaming but thanks for watching i hope you all had a great day and i'll see you again really soon